Here is a solar panel in my hand. It looks a bit like a chip and might be more expensive than some chips. This is the solar panel with the highest conversion efficiency today. Of course, its price is relatively high. This small piece cost me about $80. Let's see how much electricity it can generate later. For the comparison, I also prepared 5 cheap solar panels with a total cost of about $3.2. They look pretty good, how much electricity can they generate? This is an LED board, what do you think I use it for? Of course, to generate electricity. LED boards are also able to generate electricity in the sunlight and can be used as a power source in some emergencies. So far as I know, the most common solar panels on the market are encapsulated by crystalline silicon cells. Premium ones can get the highest conversion efficiency around 22%. However, the conversion efficiency of this gallium arsenide solar cell is close to 40%. It's the solar cell with the highest conversion efficiency currently in use. The target area of this cell is 30.25 square millimeters. If we divide the total cost by the area, we can see its unit price is about $2.48 per square millimeter. In this case, one square meter costs more than $2.48 million, which is much more expensive than gold in terms of weight. From its price, it can be seen that this kind of cell is not for the general consumer market. It is currently mainly used in the aerospace field, such as space stations, satellites, planetary probes, and other special equipment. Now we go outdoors to conduct a test. The first is a gallium arsenide cell with a voltage of 2.4 volts and a current of 3.1 milliamperes. Nothing surprising about these figures? But gallium arsenide is more heat resistant than silicon, and I'm sure you'll be surprised when using it with a condenser. Look, it's beyond the range of the voltameter, let's switch it to another gear. The current can reach about 520 milliamperes, and in such a concentrating environment, its voltage also rises to about 3 volts. Although the power generation is larger, I don't think it's wise to use it in ordinary environments. Because many ordinary solar panels can be bought at the same cost. Remember that these 5 solar panels cost only $3.2, with an average price of $0.64 each. The voltage of such a solar panel is about 6.2 volts, and the current can reach 800 milliamperes. It can drive a small motor easily. 5 solar panels reach a total of about 24 watts, which is a good choice for charging solar garden lights. Next, let's test the LED board. The voltage is about 23 volts. And the current is 0.05 milliamperes, which is very weak. Actually, in some emergencies, we can also use LED boards to generate electricity. For example, get a charging cable and cut it. The two thickest wires must be power wires. The red one is positive and the black one is negative. All the rest are for data transmission. We connected it to the LED board leads and plugged the other end of the charging cable into the phone. Well, plugging it into the phone will definitely not have any response, because the current is too small unless you use a quite large LED board. But the phone can be charged well with this cheap solar panel. Of course, if it is not an emergency, connecting a voltage regulator module will be much better, as it can protect the device well. Well, that's the end of today's test. Thank you.